Hey guys, Jessica Kadamu here, and here I'm going to make a tutorial video on uh, how to make stands, if you will, for squads of mini micro army men. Uh, right now we are filming Gundam Father of Peace episode 2, and the mini micro army men are going to be in it. And uh, this is a group of Zeons right here, and that's a, a Zeon flag up there, so that's their flag. It looks a lot like the, the German flag from World War II. But, um, over here is my barracks, and we're going to need a bunch of Fetty soldiers to come out. And they're going to need to run. It's going to be a pain to move each soldier individually, and they're likely going to fall down. So, first thing that we need is some mini micro army men. Second thing you're going to need is some super glue. I recommend Loctite, super glue, liquid. And it's got this easy control nozzle. I don't know if I put my camera on super macro, so bear with me. Another thing you're going to do, or need, is a blister package. And you're going to need to cut it. And you'll need to cut this to the shape that you need. This got kind of crunched. That's going to open it anyways. So, you know, need some uh, blister packaging. Greg's going to take over his cameraman. Here you go, Greg. So you'll probably have to move pretty close, Greg. So, we take our blister packaging material. We want it to have straight edges. That's pretty important, otherwise they stand out a bit. And you can always trim it down more afterwards. So I'm just gonna cut a strip. Don't know how well you could see that strip, but I cut a strip. Throw a little bit of garbage away. Now our mini micro army men all have a little China thing written on the bottom, and you may not be able to see that clearly enough, but it's raised a little bit. So, you want one of these files. And uh, you can pick these up at any hardware store or often a garage sale. Sandpaper will work just as well, actually. Now I just sand them down because this helps them stay on better. So sand off the part that says China. Sides. We don't want them to actually be Chinese forces anyways. Traitors. <laughs> Let me just use in the side of the file because it has a good friction part. This should take care of mold release as well. Just the sanding by itself. And do that for as many soldiers as you have. So here is our stuff right here. Hopefully you can see it with the light on it. And so I'm just going to take a little bit of super glue, put it on there, and then put him on there. And then let him dry. And you can build a whole squadron of troops like this right here. Now, if you're worried like, oh, I don't want my troops to be permanently glued down. If you tape, if you glue these soldiers because of the kind of plastic they are, if you glue them to this kind of material, the, the blister pack material, they will come off. That's why uh, my ranks are a little bit incomplete over here. Because every once in a while, someone goes MIA and falls off, and it's kind of annoying. Now this super glue should dry pretty quick. It means that uh, this won't be as flexible as it was before. Preferably you pin these down right in the first place. Otherwise you end up with glue residue all over it and it, it shows more. And so we have four soldiers here. And I need five for this particular project. I don't think I got enough glue on him. Hopefully you guys can see well enough. That one was a bit too much glue, but he'll still work. So I'll sand down one more soldier. There we go. Now this isn't fully dry yet, but it's pretty dry. You can see have our squadron of soldiers. The whole plan 
is for me to stop motion animate them as if they were coming out of the barracks. Which once they're dry, I can just move them a little bit, take a picture, move them a little bit, take a picture, move them a little bit, take a picture. Is it cheating? Oh yeah, it's cheating. But if you were trying to move this one and then move this one, or rather move this one forward, move this one forward, then you're going to knock that one over. And he's also going to knock that one over, and this one's going to fall over. And then you're going to try and set them up right, and they're just going to be like constantly going like this in animation. So this is the better way to do it. Also, just for dioramas or whatever, this works works well. And keep the camera there for a minute, Greg. Right? The same way our Xeon set looks really good coming at them. So it's a great way to play with your mini micro army men or even use them for stop motion animation. I hope that this tutorial has been useful to you guys. Catch you guys later.